ಎಲ್ರಿಗೆ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ದ ಕ್ರೇನಿಯಲ್ ನರ್ವ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೊರಾಮಿನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಪೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ರೇನಿಯಲ್ ನರ್ವ್ಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಆಲ್ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ರಿ ನರ್ವ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಆಪ್ಟಿಕ್ ನರ್ವ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಅಕ್ಲೋ ಮೋಟಾರ್ ನರ್ವ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸುಪ್ರಾ ಟ್ರಾಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ನರ್ವ್ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಟ್ರೈಜಮೈನಲ್ ನರ್ವ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ತ್ರೀ ಬ್ರಾಂಚಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಪ್ಥಾಲ್ಮಿಕ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಲರಿ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಂಡಿಬುಲ then coming to the sixth abducens nerve seventh is the facial nerve eighth is the vestibular cochlear nerve ninth one is glossopharyngeal nerve tenth one is vagus nerve then eleventh one is spinal accessory nerve twelfth one is hypoglossal nerve so these are the 12 cranial nerves which are arises from the cranial cavity okay so coming to the posterior part of the skull okay and the bones which are involved in the formation of posterior part of the skull so here are the list of the bones so first we will discuss about the bones which are involved in the formation of the posterior part of the skull which is very essential in the formation of foramen through which our cranial nerves arises so coming to the first one that is the occipital bone so occipital bone consists of lateral part that is ex occipital bone squamous part it is also called supra occipital bone basilar part which is also called basi occipital bone so here you can see so this is the lateral part or hex occipital bone again it consists of condyles okay and paramastoid process between the condyle between the condyle and paramastoid process we will get condylar fossa so this fossa consists of hypoglossal foramen through which our 12th cranial nerve that is the hypoglossal nerve exit okay then coming to <coughs> coming to the facial nerve so this is the tympanic part of the pettus temporal bone of temporal bone this is the mastoid process so between the tympanic part and as well as the mastoid process we will get stylo mastoid foramen through which our seventh cranial nerve that is the facial nerve arises so then coming to the foramen last one so this is also called jugular foramen okay the lateral okay the this is the lateral okay the lateral boundary of the foramen lateral which is formed by the tympanic part okay okay the anterior margin is formed by the posterior border of the temporal wing of post spinoid bone so then the medial border it is formed by the basi occipital bone of occipital bone okay so it form a foramen called foramen lateral or jugular foramen through which glossopharyngeal nerve vagus nerve and as well as spinal accessory nerve that is 9th 10th and 11th nerve will arise us okay then coming to the 8th cranial nerve so that is the vestibular cochlear nerve it all arises from the cranial cavity okay so it lodges in the internal acoustic meatus which consists of internal ear okay then coming to after the occipital bone coming to the spinoid bone spinoid bone again consists of post spinoid and as well as pre spinoid so this post spinoid consists of body this is the body these are the wings so this is called temporal wing okay this is the temporal bone and ventrally it has pterygoid process and pterygoid crust okay so wing at its middle consists of a foramen called foramen ovale okay this foramen ovale through which okay the mandibular branch of trigeminal nerve arises okay the mandibular branch of trigeminal nerve arises then coming to the pre spinoid bone pre spinoid bone consists of body this is the body okay and as well as two big wing called orbital wing okay so the posterior border of the this orbital wing and as well as the anterior border of the temporal wing form a notch and as well as foramen called foramen orbito rotundum through which very four important nerve uh, arises the first one is oculomotor nerve that is the third cranial nerve supra trochlear nerve that is the fourth cranial nerve then abducens nerve okay that is the sixth cranial nerve and ophthalmic branch and as well as maxillary branch of trigeminal nerve arises so first one is the oculomotor then supra trochlear then ophthalmic and maxillary branch of trigeminal nerve and as well as abducens nerve so between the body and as well as orbital wing so we will get other foramen called optic foramen through which our second cranial nerve which is responsible for the vision that is optic nerve will arise us then coming to the adjacent to this optic foramen we will get ethmoid foramen 
through which ethamoid artery and as well as the vein arises. So after the occipital and as well as spinoid, anteriorly we will get ethamoid bone. So this ethamoid bone consists of three bones, three parts, okay, usually the cribriform plate, the perpendicular plate and as well as lateral muscles. So the cribriform plate of ethamoid bone is very very important in the formation of small sieves through which olfactory fibers are arises which is forms the olfactory nerve. So through the sieves of the cribriform plate of ethamoid bone the olfactory nerve that is the first cranial nerve arises. Through optic foramen the second cranial nerve that is optic nerve will arises. Okay, through foramen orbital rotundum, the third that is oculomotor, fourth that is supra, supratrochlear, that is fifth, other loop that is ophthalmic and as well as the maxillary branch will arises, then abducens nerve is arises. So through foramen oval, the mandibular branch of trigeminal nerve will arise. Then through foramen lateral, the glossopharyngeal, the vagus, the spinal accessory nerve will arise. So coming to <coughs> the uh, stylomastoid foramen, the facial nerve will arise. So, uh, in the hypoglossal foramen, the hypoglossal nerve will arise. The vestibular cochlear nerve it won't arise from the cranial cavity. It lodges in the internal acoustic meatus. So, this is about the cranial nerves and their foramens in this skull.